Hi everyone, thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. Today we have a new package and as always we're going to find out together what's inside and how to use this thing. So let me grab the Swiss knife, here is the Swiss knife and I'm going to unpackage this thing. Well, inside the package we have a hat and it's not just a hat, it's a blue hat which is not just a blue hat, it's a Bluetooth blue hat. So we're going to find out together how this thing works and if this is something that is worth the money that they paid for. So we can see that we also have a USB to micro USB cable in this thing. So this is the Bluetooth blue hat. It seems like a really nice hat. Uh, it looks nice. I like the design. You can choose uh, several designs, colors, whatever. Um, the fabric is very elastic. I guess it's going to keep my head warm if needed. Uh, but the issue with this thing is the headphones, the Bluetooth headphones inside. So uh, you can see here that they have uh, buttons, but these are not real buttons. It's only sewed to the uh, hat itself. Like if you press it, there's no buttons. The thing is the headphones are loose inside the hat itself. So there are buttons right now. I'm pressing the button. So this is one side of the headphones. And on the other side of the headphones, you have uh, the second one that you can listen. I can feel it over here. So there are two in different sizes. Now the moment I'm moving it a bit, it goes loose inside the head. Right now we can find one of the headphones over here. So it's quite ridiculous. I'm not sure if you can take it out or not. If you can't take it out, so it's quite weird. So I was trying to play a bit with this thing and you can only take one side of the headphones outside. The other one is sitting quite properly. So only this one is loose and you have to make sure that in order to charge this, I guess, the headphones, uh, it's connected by cable, the both of them. You can only take this one, which you can suppo you're supposed to charge it over here using the micro USB to USB cable. Uh, so it goes like this. Okay. And I'm not sure about the quality of these headphones, but this is how it looks like. Okay. It's quite plastic. Seems like quite cheap. And let's try to turn this thing on. You can see that the blue light indicator turns on. I guess you can pair them. And that's it, I guess, like the moment you finish that, right now I can see that I'm trying to pair it and I turn this thing off. So the moment you finish with that, you can place it back. You should make sure that you're placing it the right way. It's supposed to be like this, I guess. And it goes back to the uh, area which the headphone is supposed to be sitting. So I just got it back to the place where the second headphone is supposed to sit and then you put it outside again, the hat, and it's supposed to be like this. So I'm telling you right now, this seems like a really nice uh, item to wear, to listen to, device, I'm not sure how to call this thing. I guess as time goes by, uh, you will be able to wear uh, shorts. Uh, trousers, shirts that will have more information and will connect with your smartphones and whatever. So uh, I guess this is the hat and it symbolizes the future. This is what I think. This is my uh, point of view of things. I'm going to try this thing for a second and I'm going to give you my impression of this hat. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got to test the Bluetooth hat. I charged it and I played with it a bit. And I have to say that I have a very good impression about this hat. First of all, the hat itself is very convenient and I liked it, like I said before. Now regarding charging this device, it takes about an hour to charge the device. All you have to do is take out one of the headphones, the one that uh, is sitting over here, and then it takes about an hour to charge this thing. The sound quality that comes out from these headphones is very good. It's not an amazing sound quality. But I have to say that uh, I was really surprised when it comes to the overall sound quality that comes out from this uh, hat. The basses are not brilliant basses, but they're quite okay. Uh, the overall sound is okay. And um, let's say low level, low budget headphones, 
but ones that you won't expect them to be good and they become very good they like you discovered that uh, they give you quite an okay sound so it's more than adequate for this kind of uh, item for the price that I had to pay the seven bucks that I had to pay for this hat now when you wear the hat on your head and you're listening to the music the sounds you're still not isolated from your environment you can hear what's going beyond the headphones uh, if people are next to you if there's a uh, noise on the street so some might look at it as a disadvantage I think that uh, you can't expect this hat to isolate the sound and it will have a noise cancellation so it's a good sound quality and you can still hear what's going on beyond that I look at it as a big advantage because if you want to listen to something and people will talk to you or you want to be uh, up to date with what's going around you uh, aware of your environment so it's a good uh, hat for this purpose the biggest problem with this hat with the headphones uh, when it's not playing any sound there is a slight buzz I guess this is something that not everyone will notice that and if you're walking in the street you probably won't notice that but uh, when I was sitting inside a quiet room I noticed this buzz and it can get some people crazy if they are aware of this sound the other problem that I noticed about this hat is when you're wearing it uh, the headphones they didn't sit properly on my ears when I was uh, playing with them I guess some of the people it will sit perfectly on your ears and some other people they will be able to play with the headphones inside and move it a bit and they will find the right uh, position I didn't uh, manage to find the right position but still after you're wearing the hat on your head so if it's sitting close to your ear and not perfectly sitting on your ear it's still adequate to listen to the sounds that come from the headphones when I tested this uh, Bluetooth hat I paired it with my smartphone with my Samsung Galaxy S5 I did manage to listen uh, to incoming and outgoing phone calls but the problem is that you don't have any built-in microphone so you can't have phone call conversations uh, by talking to the headphones uh, themselves you have to have your smartphone next to you in order for people to hear you speaking you can listen to the people that you're talking to you can't talk to them using their headphones because there's no built-in microphone well my friends I think that I reviewed everything that you should know about this Bluetooth blue hat uh, overall it's a very nice gadget and I hope that it will prove itself as a durable a hat and the headphones themselves that they're durable as time goes by I will have much more indication about the qualities of this thing and if something changes I promise to update the description to this video so you can always update about the items that I'm reviewing on my video reviews through the description of the videos that's it if you have any more questions about this video I invite you to comment uh, about it and I will try to do my best to give you an answer if this video review was helpful I invite you to like this video and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel original video reviews and I also invite you to like the Facebook page by original video reviews so you can enjoy this uh, Facebook page also I hope that this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it in the meantime bye bye